past ATO. When we began, uh, obviously, John Jones for Asia, Chelsea inbounding, but I think the subplot and all is Kelsey Plum continuing to stream for you and do it so effectively. Can you just kind of speak to just her growth and just really how the buy in as a smaller guard to screening can kind of play functionality wise to the offense? Yeah, uh, she really takes a lot of pride in her screening. And, um, you know, there's a lot of combinations that we use with her in Asia. Um, she's such a great screener. She's such a great shooter and scorer. She's setting a pick for Asia. You got to kind of pick your poison with those two in action. So, um, you know, it was a heck of a pass by Chelsea. Um, her timing was really great, but the, the you're right. The the real uh, special part there was, was Plum's screen. Um, you know, Asia that close to the rim, it's going to finish. So, uh, but it was it, it was really KP that got her open. I'm curious on the ATOs like that. I know obviously you practice them, but like how much with a veteran team that you have, like how much are you actually going over that stuff on a regular basis? Well, we haven't recently, um, but uh, there's times in practice or in shoot. We're not really practicing anymore, so in shoot around, you know, I'll tell them I'm thinking about drawing this or that and then kind of have them run through it. But we didn't have a shoot around um, today. So, um, you know, that was the choice. I, I had a couple other rolling around in my head. Um, one of them, though, you know, that I was thinking about, I know Spoon knows because we used to run it in New York. It's a Richie Autobato play. <laughs> so I, I stayed away from the Richie plays because I know Spoon knows those. She actually got us in Vegas on the back pick, the jump ball back pick. That's a Richie Auto place. We used to do that in New York. So there's a couple of them I was rolling around. I was like, no, she's going to know those. Um, so you got, you're just really making split second decisions out there um, on what you want to do and time and score. Do you, are you going to need a two? Are you going to need a three? How much time you have? All that stuff kind of goes into play. Can you speak to Megan Gustafson, obviously she got the start today, just the stay ready mentality and her ability to impact the Marshall Street team? Yeah, I mean, she was great today. We, um, you know, we've talked to the team about just we're going with matchups in that fifth spot. Sometimes it could be AC, it might be Megan, it might be Kia. It just depends on what we feel we need each night. We thought um, AC was a, a better matchup yesterday, the other night in Minnesota. And we thought Megan, with the size of their bigs, was a better uh, choice to start today. Um, and it'll probably be the same thing, you know, with Dallas with their two bigs. Um, so we'll see. We're kind of like a win today. What's important now? That's, that's uh, a little slogan that, you know, our assistant coach, Tyler, talked about and I liked it. And one last quick one for you. So we talked about your experience both as a player and a coach on both sides of basketball. In a season like this one where you've had some highs and lows, do you feel like a game like this one, especially for the the extravagant ending, can kind of catapult you or streamline you where you desire to be up? I mean I hope so. I mean I, I I always have faith that you know we're gonna win basketball games. There's my faith is unwavering, probably to a fault. I just think they can always do it. Um, that's my expectation. Um, you know, on a night that we really struggle to shoot the ball from three, um, you know, we didn't get a, a, a monster game from Asia. You know, if, if she, if her 17 footer was going today, it was going to be, she was going to ring up 50. Um, she happened to have a little bit of an off night, but she kept playing defense and, um, you know, we held them to 75. I, I'm, I'm good with those those numbers. Um, and, and conversely, that's a team that probably doesn't traditionally shoot the three as well. And I thought they knocked down shots today. So it was kind of a feel fortunate to walk out with a win really when we shot terrible and they shot very well um, on shots that I would say, you know, we probably shoot better than them. They shot them better than us today. Let's jump to Zoom. Mike Vogel. Yeah, coach, I just wondered um, in terms of with, with Chelsea Gray, do you feel like she's becoming more and more herself as she has more reps? And in a game like today, it seemed like she, I don't know, there, there was some moments of real, I guess, Chelsea confidence that we saw um, that it, and points where it was really important. Were you in our coach's locker room today, Michael, or what? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. No, that's that's what we just said. The confidence that she was oozing today, um, 
you know, again, didn't necessarily shoot the ball, but she was on 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 point every other area of the game with her passing, her rebounding. She gets in and gets, you know, seven, eight rebounds. That helps us a lot, especially with a team like that that really just hammers you on the glass. Um, but it, it's always her mind that sets her apart. Um, and to be honest, like she's she's she feels very good. Um, you know, and she's playing better and better and she's getting to be more and more herself. But the bottom line is, is she's not even a year out from her fracture, you know? And so that's very uh, impressive and substantial um, to where she is and the work that she's put in and how she can impact a game, um, you know, with really not being able to bend her foot, you know? So she's, she's just a special player. Her mind is, Second to none. She is just sharp as attack. And um, you know, worst case scenario for me, I'm like, even if you like just give me your eyes and in mind out there and, and I can work with that. Thank you. All right, Jordan. Hey coach, so I wanted to talk about your bench. You got some valuable contributions off your bench. So what have you just liked from your bench so far this season? Oh man, they're, they've been consistent. Um, we've had more firepower, um, coming off our bench. So it's been good. Uh, tip Hayes gives us just a gear that I love. I am a huge Tiffany Hayes fan, um, coming off just being that microwave score, but she just mixes it up defensively too for us. I mean, she's long, she's kind of gangly, like she's just, and she's, just a flash of speed, um, you know, so she totally gives us a different look. It's a totally contrasting look to say like a Chelsea, you know, or um, some of our other players where, you know, they're very, they're, their skill, they'll, they'll dance you like this, where she can just flat out beat you with her, with her speed. Um, she's a great creator. She plays defense, she plays the right way. Um, and then, you know, AC is just like old city Eddie. She's just like, old Mrs. Reliable back there. Like you can put her in, in any situation and she is going to be solid. Um, who she is, is she's been her whole career. And then, you know, we, we sprinkle it. I liked Kia Stokes coming in off the bench the other night, just defensively anchoring us. Um, same thing tonight, you know, you saw me sub Kia in last play of the game, um, because I trust her instincts. I trust, uh, her defensive, her defensive prowess. Um, so it's just a matter of everybody staying ready. I think Sid's given us good minutes. Um, Kate, the, the thing is, is we're struggling to win games. There's just no margin for error. So, you know, I always, I always try to be fair with my players. Doesn't mean it's always equal. There, there's a big difference, you know, so coming in off the bench, you have to be super solid, solid where, you know, Asia Wilson, yeah, she has a longer leash. She like she can make a few more mistakes, and you're gonna roll with it. Um, if we could get out the gates good, that would help. Not have so much pressure on on our younger players like a Kate Martin. It's it's huge moments. It's huge stakes right now when we're trying to crawl in um, for playoff position. So we're getting them in when we can, and um, it's their job to just be solid. And like I said, I. Megan's probably, you know, hasn't had those consistent minutes. So for me to throw her in the starting lineup and her to perform on a night where we're not making any three, she steps out and hits, gives us a couple. That's huge. Thank you. We're going to uh, apologize to everybody with your hands up. We only have one time for uh, Callie and we, because we got a plane to catch to have to get to Dallas. So Callie, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Obviously, basketball is a game of runs. Ace has had some cu crucial ones throughout the game, and then the sky was really effective in cutting into your lead at the end of that fourth quarter. Is that something you just chalk up to their talent and their coaching, or was there something specific there at the end that stood out or concerned you from your team's perspective? I, more so than tonight, Kelly, probably the ongoing trend of not being able to get stops when we need to get stops. That is definitely a concern for me. However, Tonight, when you're picking and choosing as a coach what you're willing to live with and what you can't live with, they hit some shots that we're kind of willing to live with. Like we're we're willing to live with Kennedy Carter shooting threes. It's better than her getting in the paint, finishing and drawing contact and doing what she does. I think that's her, 
you always want to make people try to beat you with their second and third moves, not their first moves. And so in the scheme of things, you know, Lindsey Allen steps up, hits a three. Kennedy Carter hits some big threes. There, you, you can't take away everything. And uh, we won the paint. That was a priority for us tonight. Um, and on a night that you shoot 25% on the road um, and 38% overall, to walk away with a win, I, I feel super fortunate. So we did something right. 